on Earth Family. I am back. It is August 5th, 2018. Uh, today I'm going to be going over quite a few different things. I'm not going to just stay focused on Kilauea and Hawaii today. We're going to be looking at the most recent uh, earthquake that we had, which was a 6.9 in Indonesia. And here it is on the USGS. Here's the location of it. I'll have everything linked below, as always. Um, I wanted to kind of take a deeper look into it. Not not, not too deep, but uh, just show you the location of it. Show you some webcams and some other things. So I took the location from USGS and I mapped it on Google Earth. And I'll show you the actual location of where the earthquake was mapped at. So here it is right here. Here's Mount Rohani right here back up here so I went to volcano discovery and uh, this is all the recent um, recent charge recent data outputs and everything they have on Mount Rohani so the thermal output it's actually been rather low so here's uh, August right here um, nothing's really been peaking we had activity in June that started going up but nothing that was even considered a high um, we had more activity last year than we did this year um, Go over a little more now we have the recent seismic activity we do have a ton of seismic activity ever since right into august so since it looks about august 1st maybe july 30th around there keep going um this chart just shows you the depths and i looked online i could not find where the chamber's at the magma chamber for rohani's at but the the majority are looking around 10 kilometers so i, I assume that's probably about where the depth's at could be wrong I'm not exactly sure because I couldn't find it but uh, I'm gonna say that's probably where it's at and if you're curious and you see more earthquakes look around that depth and uh, so you can kind of figure out what's going on um, I will have this link so you can kind of come back and you can check these as often as you would like um, we will now go ahead and take a quick look at the NSARS that are released on Hawaii scroll down to the bottom real quick yeah, I should have done this before I started the video I thought I did Okay, here we go. Um, so this is only until August 3rd, but that's okay. That still gives us an update. We'll, we'll do up to, so this is, we'll start from the left to the right. From the left, this is from July 25th to July 31st. On the left, on these images, these represent, here, I'll pull it up real quick for you. Ooh, just one second, so this can load. I'm gonna close Google Earth. There we go. Well, geez, computer, didn't think it was gonna take you this long. Man, computer's not happy today. Couldn't load that any slower if it wanted to. Okay, so satellites represent how far away it is from the satellite, or how far um, if it's rising or if it's deflating the ground so since it's the ground it, i mean hawaii has so many volcanoes the ground rises and deflates quite often um these charts in sars represent like i said how much the ground's rising or how much it's moving east to west so the darker the red means it's rising or it's moving to the west the darker the blue means it's falling or it's moving to the east okay so we're looking at right here in this image this is kilauea this is the Helena fault system. This is the Helena. This is the Helena slump right, right here in this general area. Or actually, I take that back. It's right here. Not here. Here. Um, so we'll pull back here real quick. Here's the ground motion charts. We'll do a full image of it. Oh, I, I can only hope this loads a little bit faster. Jeez. Not really. And I maybe it's just because I'm... Um, recording i don't know i need to get a new computer soon guys i i'm trying to save up money so i can get a mic and then i need to get a new computer i have lots of things i have, I have bills to pay for all the time like i have a lot of stuff going on so it's just a matter of me getting money saved up and actually being able to purchase that um okay so here this is ground motion the darker the bands pulled up a little bit if you can kind of see this the darker the red is going to represent uh, all the way up to 2.8 centimeters of movement and almost purplish uh, blue is going to be stationary so non-moving uh, non-movement here's Kilauea here's Mauna Loa 
um, in around the summit almost looks I mean there is movement in some areas there's quite a bit down here though yeah, there's quite a bit of action going on but I in my opinion nothing has happened and I, I think the worst is now passed at Hawaii um, I since I'm gonna pull up here in a minute the new images of the volcano that's formed over here I um, Nakapo'o but the uh, Fisher 8 and um, just kind of show you what's going on but as I said I believe the seismic activity is going down um, we do have a um, hurricane coming I have venture sky open so we do have a hurricane that is tracking its way towards Hawaii but I do not believe it's actually going to make impact because if you look here at the models I have it set to the GFS so if you do pull this up on your own make sure you have the GF uh, the GFS models on so um, this is set to Tuesday so we'll pull up to Wednesday now and this is at 10 a.m. it looks like it makes a just a southern pass and it's pretty far away I doubt it even gets the the strong side of it because the strongest side is this side right here but it looks like it's just gonna get the like the outer like hands of it the branch and um, and it, I don't even think it's gonna be that strong of a storm it looks like it may I think that's a cat one I don't have the charts pulled up I live in Oklahoma so I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head but I believe that's a cat one if that so nothing too bad and it looks like it actually passes right by I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit so you guys kind of get an see and it looks like it actually strengthens as it goes past and it's gonna work its way up towards Japan so now we'll switch over this real quick um, this is the Hawaiian volcano observatory status uh, status report I'll go ahead and read over the most recent thing they put out on August 5th so today uh, Kilauea volcano volcano lower east rift zone this morning's helicopter overflight confirmed a significant reduction in lava output from uh, Fisher 8. The HVO field geologists observed low levels of fountaining with the Fisher 8 splatter cone and largely crusted lava in the spillway and channel, channel system downstream. There were, a, there were a few sluggish seeps and uh, ooze out near Halakamehina and Kapoho Crater. Lava continues to ooze into the ocean along a broad flow front and uh, laterally toward po Pohokee but is still about 70 meters 230 feet southeast of the boat ramp oh man I cannot pronounce these words I apologize everything will be linked so you can read it yourself uh, the significant mount uh, 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 the significance of this change is not yet clear and the hazardous conditions remain in the area it is common for the eruptions to wax and wane and uh, pause completely a return of high levels of lava discharge or new outbreaks in the area and active fixtures could occur at any time so keep your eyes open um, the Middle East Rift Zone on Friday gas measurements at uh, Puuo Plume indicated the emission rate of over 1,000 tons of SO2 the highest rate from this event in several years uh, re uh, readers may recall that a white plume has been observed is uh, issuing from Puuo over the past over the past several weeks, HVO will attempt to overfly the Puo as soon as possible to evaluate any significant changes within or around the vent. Uh, volcano uh, Kilauea's volcano summit. The volcano summit remains relatively quiet, representing a significant departure from the pattern of seismicity and deformation from the past several months. The most recent collapse event occurred three days ago at 11:55 a.m. Uh, August 2nd rates of earthquakes began to increase soon after as the, the typical leading to the next collapse event but yesterday the rate decreased to a low level without a collapse uh, collapse event low rates of seismicity can continue today the rate of deformation in the summit is measured by tilt meters and GPS instruments has also remained much reduced so that's good here's the recent uh, lava flow charts Here's Leilani Estates. Here's Isaac Hell Park. Here's the active ocean entry right here. Here's some new uh, pictures. I thought this was really nice. This is of uh, the new volcano that is formed at Fisher 8. I I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is Fisher 8. Yeah. Come down here. Um, I'll link these. I don't want to spend too much time on the pictures. But uh, let's pull that up one more time. It's just a really good picture. You can kind of see into it. It's crazy how fast that formed.
okay we'll go over now to the volcano news of all the newest uh the most recent volcano eruptions we had um so we've had quite a few volcanoes erupt today um karma ski karma sky karma ski uh krakatau reventador sacro uh sacro and ibiko have all erupted and as i said we also had that recent earthquake outside of uh Rinhani volcano so that's always a possibility of future eruption as well I'll have this link so you can go over the uh, ash advisories and uh, how much it erupted uh, I have already looked at this, this will, I'll kind of pull this back real quick this is the current erupting volcanoes these are minor activity and the reds current erupting That is all for the video today, guys. I will try to keep in touch, you know, at least try to make videos every couple days, if not every day like I had been. But, you know, it's just so sporadic right now. I do apologize. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. I'll have everything linked below for you.